This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at the Bang Jack station, and behind me here, where, where, where is it? There, it's just so small. There, we have it. This is Aura Good Cat. It's called that in Thailand. In Europe, it's going to be called Aura Funky Cat. And in this video, I'm going to do a range test. Yeah, so this is, by the way, this is the GT version, the beefiest version. I tried the, the last, actually, I think it was earlier this year, yeah. I tried the Aura Good Cat 500 Ultra. So this one has the same battery. It's around 62 kilowatt hour net capacity, supposedly. Anyway, gross capacity. But then, um, yeah, we will see how thirsty this one is because it's more powerful. So does it consume more than the other one, the 500 Ultra? We'll see. So I charged it 100%. Uh, I can show that it has slightly different, I don't know, body elements like this one. Real carbon fiber. Uh, does that affect the consumption, the aerodynamics? The wheel seems to be the same, the, the brakes are the same. Here we have some kind of rear diffuser. So other than that, the car is pretty much the same inside with some small improvements. So uh, yes. I have, you see here, we have the adapter, OBD adapter there. And then I have car scanner here. See, we charge 100%. It's, uh, this is interesting. When I was charging on AC, when I charge 100%, then it claims 99%. But then on DC, it's different. Hmm. And then also, this one is interesting. Uh, at 88.8%, we had 50 kilowatt hour. And then it, it seems to be capped at 50 kilowatt hour. So we uh, we hopefully have more than 50 kilowatt hour, more like 55, 56 kilowatt hour. We'll see. But uh, hmm, yeah, we'll see how much energy we actually have because uh, keep in mind that this car has 12,000 kilometers on the odometer, so it's probably around one year old. I wonder if there is some significant degradation here. So right. So now I'm going to show you that we are here. Uh -huh. Man, I, this this never. Oh shit. This navigation is so shitty, that's why I never use it. Let me try to zoom out here. Kind of-ish. All right. So you see we are here in Chiang Mai. <laughs> we are going to drive south here a little bit towards... Uh, this is Lampang. It, doesn't, well, it says in Thai, yeah. Lampang and then drive further south. Wait, what the heck? What happened to the map now? Shit, this is why I don't like using this. Okay, what well, there? We're gonna drive south a little bit and then we come back here to Chiang Mai. Yeah, and then we do a charging test afterwards and see how far we can actually drive. Okay, now this is this is why I hate this navigation. <laughs> and then it zooms back to the whatever uh, position we have automatically. We're on the move now. So this is a super highway in uh, yeah, outside of Chiang Mai, heading south now towards Bangkok. So I'm cruising at 92 kilometers per hour, trying to match the 90 speed. So the good thing about this test starting position over here is that we can actually start by cruising at 90. I mean, cruise at 90 most of the time. So, all right. And then consumption so far is 173 watt hour per kilometer. It's freaking bumpy over here because this is concrete surface. Yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. You see, the NADC range is claimed to be 492. <laughs> it was 501 when we started the trip so far so all right we have to pass a mountain actually so that is going to take extra energy on the way up but then of course we try to regenerate everything on the way down but you can say that actually the terrain here is slightly harder than uh, the one in uh, near Mjösa Oslo because there we are, have flatter surface versus here and then by the way we're using auto steer also so it's doing a fairly good job here the only minus with this auto steer is that it tends to slow down like a Toyota driver in the curves. But fortunately, we are driving at only 90 kilometers per hour, so it shouldn't slow down too much. We are getting close to uh, Daikuntan now, and man, the roads here are busy today. It's always busy around New Year. So, um, yeah, normally it's uh, quite empty here in the morning hours. So, uh, oh, oh yeah, this is, uh, uh, wow. You see, it slows down like a Toyota driver. Even when I'm go only going at 90, it still slows down a lot. So, oh well. Uh, but for the most part, we are actually cruising at 90 uh, GPS speed. So we have a little bit of slowdown here and there, but no, no big deal. Okay, so now we're going to go up the hill soon. 
Let's see how that goes. <laughs> and then, by the way, yeah, the consumption has dropped to 156 watt hour per kilometer. But I don't know if this is the one that is uh, that is uh, from the reset point or if it's a running average. Who knows? Whoa, 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 the heck, man? How slow are we supposed to go? Shit. I think the car underestimates its performance. I mean, after all, it's the G to the T, the GT, or a good cut. Oh, or maybe the aura lazy cut. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, it's still freaking bumpy over here. But look, we are now down to 88% and we start counting kilowatt hour correctly now. So at least this will be an indication of how close to zero I am. But uh, the thing is that I don't know if this one zero means displayed zero percent or the real state of charge zero percent. So. We have to have a little margin, I guess, before we uh, go too deep. So, all right. Uh, yeah, we are now getting closer and closer now to the mountain, getting further and further up. And that should mean that the consumption here uh, is actually better than it looks like because we have gone some uphills. We have passed Lampang now and heading towards that. Well, I can show you here. It, it, the names here doesn't mean anything to you guys. You don't know what the heck it is. You just know speculate, 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 and vibe back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is Lampang and Chiang Mai is up there and then Tak is further down there. So um, right now, uh, I can show that... Uh, no, wait, not this one. Um, here, 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 here. Okay, so we're down to 74%. We have 146 watt hour per kilometer. Wow, that is pretty good, but not as good as the BYD Auto 3. Huh, that one had only 135 or something. Oh, what is that? Kaput, kaput uh, pickup truck. Yeah, so um, yes, we're still cruising at 92 on the speed though. Uh, I think I figured out that um, I'm going to wait until we have 30 kilowatt hour left, then we turn around, and then we should be around maybe 55%. We'll see. Yeah, and also, you see, sun is coming up now and it's getting warmer, and now it's uh, 23 degrees Celsius outside, but I have seat ventilation. Oh, yeah. Also, if I feel like it, I could use uh, the massage. Let's say, where the heck is the massage? Uh, in car, it's kind of here, seat setting. And then, oh yeah, massage high. Oh, the Chinese massage, they are the best. Man, this is getting very annoying. Look, there's a slight curve. There are lots of those curves around here. Look at the speed. Oop. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go, idiot. Oh, it's that constant deceleration and then acceleration. And some places it just slows down even more. And okay, let me show another very annoying thing is that, okay, so if you want to see the trip meter, right? First, first you have to hold down this OK button here. All right, let me see. And then I can scroll down to, uh, no, 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 uh, driving. No, uh, there, trip meter. 153 uh no wait what the heck happened to the trip meter okay wait hold on this button again <coughs> there's a trip meter oh wait what happened to the trip meter oh, oh man <laughs> every time there is something to do with the uh, cruise control adaptive cruise control it would just slow down and okay yeah uh, it will i mean it will uh, disappear and then here we come to another curve oh 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 yeah let's go 85 well, which is around 82 kilometers per hour GPS speed. Oh man, so uh, yeah, I, you can of course uh, cancel it out by pressing the accelerator, but uh, after doing that for a couple of hundred curves, then we're like, uh, okay. So I just wonder, hmm, don't they have curves in China? Or, or are, are the Chinese drivers really driving that slow in curve? Here, here's another one, here's another one, you see? The Ranger is going quite uh, fast over there. Okay, let's see, uh, what kind of speed are we getting now, this curve? Uh, oh, 90, oh, okay, that is impressive. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. I guess it's approved, right? All right, we're done 180 kilometers now, and we're down to 55%, but uh, 31 kilowatt hour left, yeah, so I'm going to turn around here. Yeah, I think it's time to turn around. Oh, there's a U-turn. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's a U-turn spot right in the middle of the motorway. <laughs> and then so far we have consumed 150 watt hour per kilometer. 
wow, this is considered high compared to the Auto 3, which is even a bigger car than the, or a good cut. Oh, and it's freaking bumpy over here. We are almost on top of the mountain now. Well, this is called Dai Khun Dan. And um, yes, so you see here, the consumption doesn't go up that much. 154 watt hour per kilometer is hovering around 150-ish for the longest time. So this is an indication that the consumption is in fact the consumption from the reset point. So all right, so we're getting kind of low now. We get the low battery warning. Uh, we are at, uh, yeah, how much is it? 19% and 11 kilowatt hour left. All right, let's hope we can make it back to Chiang Mai. Okay, I'm going to show you something here. We are going downhill now. And if you look at the display here, we're using cruise control, but we are not regening at all. You can see it there. This is actually quite bad. So I will show you if I disengage uh, cruise control. Now we are regening down the hill. This is exact same behavior as the MG ZSEV. Again, a Chinese car, so it's not uh, unexpected that it behaves like this. But uh, this actually means that during the test now, every time I went into a curve and the car slowed down, it actually activated the friction brake. And I lost a little bit of energy on every curve and then multiply that by hundreds of times. And you start realizing why the consumption is actually 150-ish. Yeah, it should be roughly 150 watt hour per kilometer and not 135 like the um, the BYD Auto 3, which didn't do it like this. So this is actually bad design. Shit. I didn't expect the Aura Good Cut to act like this because as far as I know, it's a, it's a pure electric drivetrain. I mean, pure electric uh, car only, right? There's no fossil Aura, fossil cut. <laughs> we are getting close to Chiang Mai now. We have done 338 kilometers. And we're down to 11.6%. And we still have oh, is it? range, 45 kilometers of range left. Uh, and we have to go, I have it over here. We have to go 23 more kilometers. Uh oh, uh oh. Seems like we have to go deep in Thailand. Oh, shit. Oh, yes, I found a weighing station. You see, oh, oh, front axle. Uh, 930, the whole pussycat, 1670, oh, okay, okay, not too shabby. BYD Auto Sam, the better car. <laughs> she. Oh, shit, we are down to 8% battery and it happened again. We are limited to 79 kilometers per hour. You see that set, set speed is 92. I can show you now that if you slow down, uh, I can show you here. So we have 120 kilowatt of power limit. So we have plenty of power. But when you try to accelerate, look, it will. Okay, now I have motorcycles in the way now. Shit. But yeah, yeah so we have speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> the lazy cat, look, 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 look at 80 kilometers per hour, that's it. Okay, okay, I have to uh, exit here. Oh man. Okay, we need to disqualify this test. We cannot cruise at 90 all the way. <laughs> oh shit. Welcome to Thai Ladestau. <laughs> we have two or a good cut uh, charging right now. And then we have a freaking Volvo XC40 waiting. Oh, well, well, I need to charge here because I'm doing a charging test. I cannot go to the PTT station and also not the, the PA station we started from this morning because that one is only 50 kilowatt. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. Um, well, at least I have some juice. So the h bike is still running. Uh, air conditioning is running for now, but eventually it might sort and then it's going to be freaking hot inside because it's 29 degrees outside. Uh oh. So anyway, we managed to drive 360.7 kilometers a day and then barely made it here. Okay, well, with 6% left, 
And then the consumption was high, man. 148 watt hour per That's a lot higher than the BYD Auto 3. Because I guess this car is braking. Yes, always brake uh, all the time. <laughs> uh, and that means that, okay, so I estimated only 56.8 kilowatt hour of uh, net capacity. I'm not sure why it's so low. Is it because we have degradation? Because uh, when I tested the 500 Ultra, it, uh, it was roughly 60 kilowatt hour. Or is it because the average consumption is an average after 50, 100 kilometers, not for the whole trip? I'm actually not sure. This is a little bit big, big mystery, but uh, yes. Um, so uh, we have a lot lower range now. I mean, okay. In, anyway, the range doesn't lie. So it seems like we can only go around 380 kilometers, whereas the BYD Auto 3 managed to go 440, at least if we compensate for the, the height uh, disadvantage or advantage. So, you know, the Aura Good Cut should be more efficient than Auto 3, and it should go at least uh, at the same distance or even further, but it's actually not uh, going that far. So I also actually blame the software. Yes, because of poor software, then uh, we waste energy and then the car becomes less efficient and we have lower range. So hopefully great more motors they can fix this uh, <laughs> i'm not sure if they can, they can because they did not fix this in the mg ZSEV, so i'm gonna fix it here is wise but okay so anyway i think that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later